My name is Patricia Gorman, and I am the costume designer for Bust Out Burlesque. Uh, we are currently making a absinthe fairy costume. These are some sketches that don't show exactly what it's going to look like, but similar in that it's going to have bra, corset, panties, and a different style of skirt. Skirt's going to be more like that. So what we've been doing is compiling different materials to use. Um, I've got this great trim. Uh, bra straps, garter hooks, beaded trim. This we got first. This was sort of the beginning of the costume. Um, really great color. This was the critical piece. It's really, really hard to find great fabric in New Orleans. Of course, the bra and the panties are going to look like this, but covered with rhinestones. So I've gotten just 50 of a bunch of different colors to see what will look good. This one's great. Um, and then we've got 30 yards of tulle over here. I'm hoping it's enough. Two different colors to give it some depth. And this is, um, these are beads that belong to Tajma, who was a dancer on Bourbon Street in the 50s. And her house in New Orleans East flooded up to the rafters during Katrina. So she basically told us that we can have whatever we could salvage. I'm going to try and put as many of these beads on this costume as I can. Obviously, they need a bath. So this is what I've done so far. This is just to test the fit of the corset. Um, I have the pattern for the corset, which is right here. Um, it's a little short, I'm sure. I haven't fitted on Foxy yet. Um, and it obviously won't be this color. This is just to test it. Okay, so here's Foxy trying on the uh, corset muslin, so we can see how it fits, and I'm going to have to make it to there. Turn around, baby. And there's the back. Oh, it's going to look good. Okay. And how do you feel about getting your new costume? Yay! <laughs> I feel like I won the prices right. <laughs> so here's the bra. And I have stitched some satin on here and pinned it on the cups. And now I'm going to hand sew it on. And then this is going to go over it. And I'll probably have to do it by hand. So here's some denim and some uh, satin string that I'm going to use for the corset, but it's white. So I'm going to dye it green. And we'll see how close that comes because I just want it light green. So today I've been cutting all day. I have, these are going to be the panties, so it's the green material and the cool expensive stuff. Uh, this is going to be the garter, same thing. This is going to be the skirt, uh, part of the skirt, the rest will be tulle, but it's got the satin and the lining and the expensive material. And I'm lining it because it'll just look nicer on stage when she takes it off to have something cool and finished looking on the inside. And here's the corset. <clears throat> you can see where I altered it here to make it longer. These are the garter straps. Today I'm working on the skirt and I have on my lap uh, about 20 yards of green tulle and another 10 yards over here in a slightly different color. And I am gathering all this tulle and once I gather all of it, I'll probably um, attach it to a piece of silk um, seam binding so that I can 
put it to the bottom hem of the skirt, which is over there in the distance. Of course, I need to fit it on Foxy before I attach the bottom. So we're on uh, day eight of the construction of this costume. Uh, I've actually probably been thinking about it for longer than that, but the actual making, it's been eight days. So these are the rhinestone colors we're going with. I don't have nearly enough. So I've just ordered more rhinestones. Um, I also ordered a couple different colors for the pasties because I think we're going to give her nude g-string with a bunch of different colors of rhinestone and the pasties are going to be uh, sort of this um, crystal AB color and then also peach and this other sort of peachish pinky color. Um, I've just fit the corset on her. She was here but a little hungover today so we decided not to take a movie. This is the lining of the corset and it is like that. You can sort of see how it's going to go. So I had lengthened it uh, so that it would be straight across. And now what I've got to do <clears throat> is order some boning for the corset. And I couldn't do it until I, I, I had this right. Okay, so today I'm attaching the tool to the skirt. And it's like a great big dead green animal. And you really have to fight with it to get it on. So that's the, the one color, and now this color is going on top. <laughs> There's its label.